guys, Skinny Pigs one here. So today's video is going to be three things you can do to help your vet assess your guinea pig, diagnose, and treat your guinea pig more efficiently. So this was a viewer request from Tammy, who's part of the guinea pig community. She was at her vet clinic and asked her vet, what are things people can do to make it easier for you to get the guinea pigs the help that they need quickly? So there's three things that her vet shared with her, and I 100% agree with all of these things. So let's get into the video. So number one is video the symptoms, and in some cases this might mean taking a picture. So your guinea pigs act way different at a vet clinic than they do at home in their natural, comfortable environment. So what you could be seeing at home might not be apparent to your vet at the vet clinic. We all know that guinea pigs can freeze up and be super shy and quiet when they're nervous. So your vet might not be able to see everything that you were seeing at home. So taking a video clip of what you're concerned about and bringing it to your vet is super helpful. So if you're taking a clip, make sure you're condensing and editing this down so that it's just really quick for them to see what you're speaking about. And in some cases you might need a picture. So let's say your guinea pig had a bunch of discharge in their eyes and their nose. And by the time you get to the vet, it could be wiped away. So taking a picture of that when you see it to bring to your vet later to say, this is what I saw is really helpful. Number two, keeping records of the symptoms when they appeared, what was happening when they appeared, the severity of them, was it at a certain time of day? Was there anything that you did at home to treat them before you brought them in? All these things are super important. So this is kind of like a really quick medical history on your guinea pig to be like, I saw this and this at this time, this day, this is when it started, and I already have given them this medication. So this is gonna be really important for your vet to get a full clear picture of what's going on. And it's also super important that they know any medications you have already given so that your guinea pig doesn't get, get given too much. So if you've already given a pain med, they'll need to know that so that they don't double up on a pain med, which could be very dangerous. So now number three is be honest. Lying about what's happening with your guinea pig only hurts your animal. So I think this could be taken in two different ways. So number one, you don't want to lie about what's happened in the sense of, let's say worst case scenario, your guinea pig jumped out, fell out of your arms somehow and injured themselves. And you feel really embarrassed or guilty that that happened, so you don't want to tell your vet that. Well, you're going to have to so that they can get the proper care that they need. So you wouldn't want to say, oh, I just woke up and found them like this. Because then your vet starting from square one has no idea why they would be like this. Where if you just shared honestly that, well, they jumped out of my arms and hit the floor, they're going to have a better idea of what to do, where to start. So even if we feel bad about what's going on or we feel guilty that we've missed things for a while, you just have to be honest with your vet because that's the only way they're going to be able to help your pet properly. And I think the other flip side of this is being honest about their signs and symptoms. You don't want to add on more signs or symptoms to try to make their condition seem more severe because maybe you'll think, oh, if I say this and this is happening too, they'll get me in quicker or they'll think this is a really serious problem so I can get dealt with right today instead of having to wait for tomorrow. If you're lying about signs and symptoms, then your guinea pig might be put through tests or procedures that could possibly have complications when they really didn't need it, or they could be get put on medications that they really didn't need. So that could hurt your animal. So we just need to be open, honest, as transparent as possible to give our vets a very clear, concise picture of what's going on, what we're concerned about. Because we have to remember, we are the voice for our guinea pigs. They can't speak. And often they are just masters at hiding absolutely everything that they can. So we need to be the ones to pinpoint what's wrong, when we saw it, what really happened, all of that kind of stuff. So if you've got all your notes down, your video clips, your pictures, what you've done at home, and you're honest, 
it's going to get you the best outcome and often time is of the essence too so the quicker your vet's able to come to a conclusion the better all around for everyone okay thanks for watching and if there's any tips or tricks you want to add down below in the comments that you think will also help people out at vet appointments leave them down below bye guys if you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us seeing product hauls or reviews or really anything else guinea pig please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video down below i've left two more videos for you to pick from so keep on watching